All right, welcome back to Smithy's over 100 golf courses in a year. Uh, today it's Saturday the 29th of October. Uh, all this week I've been walking around the coastal path on Anglesey, or the Wales coastal path, putting in a couple of games of golf and uh, having an easy day today. It's Saturday, I was in Carnarvon last night. I've come back onto Anglesey, right in the middle of Anglesey, place Printech. And this is uh, course number 197 this year. Nine hole course called Story Swen. It's filling in the gaps of uh, courses I haven't played in North Wales. Oh, rain's gone off this morning. We're into the afternoon. Let's hope it holds off. Let's go and see what it's got. Ladies and gentlemen, it's course number 197 of 2022. It's Story Swen Golf Club in Anglesey. On the tee, after a very friendly reception from the lady behind the bar taking the green fees, she took his phone number. Apparently the member said at the weekend she's known as Luscious Lips from Kirkintillich in Scotland. Smithy! This is the opening of Storish win, 347 yards. Absolute cracker, 306 yards, elevated tee, stream running across, green down in the trees there. Again, you've got Snowdonia in the background. Oh, smashing hole this one. Oh, despite a decent hit in the second, this ditch seems to come right into play. Now, oh, an impossible finding the ball in here. Should maybe have played with a stunt golf ball, Hadrian, he'd have done a wee bit better. Win, par 4 at 300 yards. Slightly uphill to start off with, it's got a dog leg to the left, so can't see the green at the moment. Just hit it straight. Oh, this is what I love about that quirkiness. This is a view up to the green at the third. Now you get a wee a few rocks and uh, ferns, gorse in front there, and the green tucked away behind up the top. Oh, really nice. This is where you get a you got a lot of satisfaction playing a difficult shot quite well. Just passes the green at the third. Just up the hill and I'm only about two feet off to the left, just gone past. It's not an official birthday opportunity because I'm not on the dance floor, but it's an outside chance. That's the fourth hole, a shorter par four at 271. Straight down. Uh looks quite tight off the tee. Uh can't see where the green is. On the far east side of the course, which is uh, closest to Snowdonia over there. Back onto the mainland. That's a view down the course green, once you come over the wee ridge. There are bunkers, a few of them here, right left centre. That's the fifth at Stonish Wen. Uh, it's two par threes in the nine holes, this is the first one, and they run consecutively. So it's the fifth and the sixth holes, this is 190 yards. It uh, crosses over, you've got the third fairway running below down there, or the third tees down below. Uh, so you've got to hit a, a fair size whack to reach this one. And then again in the summer, you've got to hit it big as it's going to roll back. It won't do it today, it'll probably just plug in. This is just up at the fifth screen. Uh, par three, I can see in the distance, that's Red Wharf Bay. I walked around in, uh, oh, it must have been April. Doing the Wales coastal path. So a nice view from here. I'll look at this for a cracker of a par 3, the 6th. As you say, you don't need it to be a long haul, it'll be terrific. It's 109 yards straight into the wind today. Look at that. A lot of water around there. Super, super hole from an elevated tee. Said it's right into the wind, so we'll have to use the stunt golf ball for this one. So it'll be Hadrian will be out in action for this. 7th hole at Storis Wen. Uh, 353 yards, par 4, out of the wind. Well, you can see the obvious danger with the water in front of a tee. 
but anything that's not hit properly. But there's also a stream going all the way up the right hand side. I can see the the marker post there. Uh, it looks straight up. Uh, it crosses over the par three, the previous one. That's the green from the par three. The tee up there. These things don't matter when the course isn't, you know, isn't particularly busy. Well, in fact, I'm the only one on it this afternoon. Ah, that's another lovely hole. It's a tight drive to hit the fairway on seven. It's stroke index one. Into the wind today, so it's still a good bit away. As you can see that stream all the way up on the right hand side. It's a danger. The ball goes in there, it's going to be hard to find because there's a lot of rushes and reeds, etc. in there. Oh, well, you can't see it in the card. But on the seventh hole, that stream that goes away up the right hand side, it's got the cheek to sneak across right in front of the green. Just add another wee hazard. I'll tell you what, they don't have to make real good use of the features here. This is the eighth at Storis Wen, long par four at 385 yards. But the danger is, is that the stream that was up the right hand side of the seventh, is we're now, that's the seventh over there, we're now running parallel back down away. So that same stream is still on the right hand side going back down here, so got to avoid that. Right, the ninth, the last hole at Storis Wen. Uh, only par 5, 477 yards. Straight down, there's a pond on the left hand side to avoid. Slight, slight fade to the left. What's the score in the big match? Smithy against the golf course. Well, we're on a four pars between three and six. Um, uh, two and a half shots up on the golf course. And getting a shot at the last, what that really means is uh, anything better than a nine, and it's a game, game to meet. Fingers crossed. Looking up to the ninth green here, it rises up in a slight dog leg to the right. Caused a wee bit of trouble for myself by uh, putting my tee shot into it, hooking it into the water on the left. So we're here for three. Exciting. Right, I'm just finished on the nine at Storis Wen. Oh, what a delightful wee nine hole this one is. It's got several alternative tees, but I'd consider it as a nine holer. I don't think they make uh, too much difference to the other tees. There's just uh, some cracking holes all the way around. Uh, very varied. Ah, oh, just uh, scratching a bit quirky in places. Absolutely terrific. Couple of par threes in the middle. It makes great use of the features, uh, water features, and uh, some of the streams. There's a few crossing holes, uh, but that doesn't really matter. You know, when the course isn't busy, it's just a small course anyway. Uh, condition of course it's been really wet overnight all week uh, of course a wee bit soft underfoot so there's no roll in the ball it's not boggy holding up really well you can see that it'll be you know a really nice condition in drier times the greens themselves the greens are a wee bit fluffy and woolly in places but they're putting true no problem with putting so what am i going to give it out of 10 well it'll be a 7.75 it really is a lovely nine hole course really nice place to come as well nice welcome in the and the club. Oh, definitely, I'm going to come back in the summer, uh, have another go, you know, at the, in the sunshine. And uh, it certainly make a great double header. Come here for a nine hole warm up and then go on to Bull Bay. Ah, oh, smashing wee trip. After it gets 7.75, what am I going to, what was the score in the big match, Smithy against the golf course? Oh, despite getting in the water at the, the last, I came away with a seven. So that's a one and a half stroke victory for me. Go me, uh, that's the end of the day on Saturday, just nine holes today. Staying at Landfire Power a little, 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 little gog a gog tonight. So I'll try saying that one when you're having a few beers. And uh, get trained into Bangor for a few pints as well and back again. Looking forward to that. Don't know what we're doing tomorrow yet, but that's all for today. Thanks, cheerio.